Hey guys, it's Supendin here and we are back with another tutorial video and for this tutorial I'm going to be talking about how to import your Minecraft world like you know pre-made Minecraft world whatever you want into Cinema 4D so you can make 3D Minecraft an animations or um, HD JPEG images or stuff like that whatever you want to do with Minecraft worlds on Cinema 4D so here's how you do it you either go to the link in my description and click on it or you can go to the website or you go to your, your web browser uh, you maximize it if you want uh, you go to mineways.com you click enter and basically what this is it's a free uh, minecraft tool thing that you use to open up your uh, minecraft world and then um, crop out a certain a certain part of it that you like that you want for your um, cinema 4d render and then you put it into cinema 4d and you render it and it's all good right yeah so uh, you go down to downloads and you download for whatever um, whatever thing you have PC Mac whatever it is and you will get this file right here mine ways you I'm gonna put it in the Sun so you can see it so uh, mine ways file right here what you do is you go there you click extract files and it'll extract files that way you'll get this little thing right here you can delete that and uh, put it in the Sun again so then you double click that you open it up and you've got a bunch of stuff here don't worry about any of this stuff except for these three apps so if you have Windows 32 I mean Windows uh, whatever Windows you have Windows 7 or something like that but you have a 32-bit uh, PC then you click this one if you have just normal Windows 8 just click this one 64-bit you know is this one I believe this one is also Windows 7 64-bit but I have Windows 8 64-bit click that double click that uh, you can exit out of that if you want uh, and this is where the main cool stuff happens this is the mine waves little drop down menu so what you do is you go to file you click open world and it will automatically search for your minecraft rar not minecraft minecraft file stored in your computer somewhere somehow and um it'll open up the library and then open up uh, your your worlds so that's how they can easily see um, all your worlds on your um, minecraft thing so I'm gonna click the beach town project 2.2 it's a map that I got from Corrales's website where uh, you guys can check it out uh, he's a pretty cool guy he's got a lot of cool minecraft uh, um, uh, builds and stuff like that so what you do is you open that up and then you click right cl uh, right click and drag on whatever area that you want I'm going to choose this little square area right here some blocks are visible okay just click um click yes if that thing pops up sometimes it pops up for me sometimes it doesn't and um basically you chose you chose a little area that you want to render that you want to go into your cinema 4d uh render thing that's pretty much what you chose when you clicked right click and created a pink square rectangle whatever your shape you created um you can adjust that uh, adjust the, the maximum height a maximum amount of blocks that will show up on your cinema 4d render by clicking this and the ma minimum I mean the maximum depth like how deep the blocks will go by uh, scaling this so I'm gonna go to whatever that was 54 54 let's go with 54 and 255 all right and then you go down to file you go for export for rendering you click that I like to create a new folder because there are a bunch of things that pop up. Let's say Minecraft for the let's name it Minecraft. If I can type right Minecraft, I open up that folder, type in uh, Minecraft again or whatever name that you want to save it as. Uh, you click that. Now this big scary window will pop up. Don't touch anything unless you really want to. So just click OK. Uh, you can exit out of this now once it well once it finishes rendering. Uh, because well, I, I believe I chose a really really big area. This map is actually really huge So I believe I chose too much <laughs> but um Wait, where did my uh, where did my file go? Huh is it in here? Um, No, I'll be right back. I will try to find that file wherever I saved it All right, I finally found the file. It's right here minecraft file Okay, so what you do is you open up that file and uh, you open up your uh, cinema 4d right here we're gonna wait for Cinema 4D to open up. Cinema 4D Studio R14, yeah, whatever. I have the R14 version. It doesn't matter what version you have. So you open up your Cinema 4D. You have your Minecraft OBJ file. You take that OBJ file. You drag it over here. Uh, it's for you guys. It will be scale one. 
but what I like to do is go to scale 200 because it increases the size of the whole thing while keeping the whole aspect ratio and all that cool stuff so um, what you do is this will pop up right here this is the area that it chose um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty much exactly what you chose, exactly what pops up on a normal Minecraft map. So now what you do is you click the first material down here, you go all the way down, choose your last material, and then you go over here to this area, you go to texture, you click the texture, you find where you saved your stuff, your folder, and you click your Minecraft RGBA file. You click that Minecraft RGBA file, uh, go down here, click sampling, click none. So it creates a smooth, more smooth image. And then now you go to basic. You go to basic. Once you go to basic, you you're still clicked on all these. You go to alpha, click alpha. That'll create the alpha channel little um, tab right here. Once you go to there, you go to the alpha channel thing. You click texture again. This time you click the Minecraft alpha file right here. For that, now you go to Sampling again, you click none. Basically, what that what I just did is I applied the textures that that were um, in the Minecraft world in the first place, and then I applied it onto all the single layers, all the single layers, all the single. No, I'm just kidding. All the single layers on the Minecraft uh, Cinema 4D thing. What I like to do to keep organized is I click all these, and then I click Alt G, so it groups it all, so I can increase the size and decrease the size if I want. So, um, yeah, my Minecraft, my computer's kind of lagging. I've got a couple things going on in the background. Um, uh, now that's pretty much it. If you get like, I'm gonna render it out for you guys right here. It might look a little bit dull, so that's why I go to create, and then I go to physical sky. And yeah, it makes it much brighter and cool. And yes, look at that. It makes it much more brighter and cool and realistic and stuff like that. But it takes a little bit longer to actually render because you have the Minecraft. I uh, know, not the Minecraft, the, the physical sky on. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. That's the tutorial for today. How to um, import your Minecraft world into, well, a chunk of your Minecraft world into your Cinema 4D project but yeah thank you guys so much for watching remember leave a comment like the video and subscribe bye guys have a good day and peace